So in today's video, I'll show you how to set up the TP-Link AC600 dual band USB adapter. This is the Archer T2U Plus model. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. So what these devices typically do is they plug into a desktop or a laptop that doesn't have Wi-Fi working and allows you to add Wi-Fi to that desktop or laptop directly through USB. So I've gone ahead and removed the item from from its box. Let's see what's inside. You have a resource CD, most likely with the drivers in case you do not have access to the internet, which is highly likely if you're setting this up. A quick installation guide and the device itself. And to prep it for installation, I'm going to remove its protective plastic packaging. Peel this off and then I'm going to peel the plastic off to remove the protective packaging on the antenna. And then you want to go ahead and plug this into a USB port on your desktop or laptop with the antenna at 90 degrees to the USB port, as you can see here. And this will get you the best Wi-Fi signal. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up using a Windows computer, but the procedure is pretty much identical if you're using a Mac. Now, if your desktop has a CD drive built in, you can always use the CD drive and use the drivers that came on the CD, but it's highly likely that most people will not have a CD drive on their computer. And it's also likely that the CD probably has the older version of the driver. So this is the method that I alternatively recommend. So if you have another computer around the house, or if you can borrow a friend's computer to download the driver, that would be your first step. And the first thing I'm going to do using that other computer, I'm going to open up a web browser and search for TP link download center and hit enter. And once I search for that, the first link that shows up is the TP link download center link. I want to click on that and then click accept all cookies. And here you're going to have to type in your model number. So in our case, the model number is Archer T2U plus, and that's the one we want. So click on that link. So as soon as you type in the model number, you'll notice that your model shows up on that list below where it says networking adapters, USB adapters. So let's click on that link. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says Archer T2U Plus. I'm obviously going to download the Windows version, but if you're using a Mac, you're going to download the Mac version. I'm going to click download. And once it's done downloading, I'm going to go into my downloads folder and find what I just downloaded which is the Archer T2U Plus V1 in my case I'm going to right click that copy and let's put that into a USB stick so I've plugged in a USB stick this can be any USB stick or it can be an SD card any kind of removable media that you can plug into the desktop where you're actually installing this network adapter in my case I just have a small 8 gigabyte USB drive that works just fine and I'm going to paste that file that I just downloaded. So I've pasted that into my USB drive and I can now then plug this USB drive into the computer that I'm going to set the network adapter with. So I've gone ahead and plugged in the device itself into a USB port on the back of my computer. I also have that USB stick with the drivers plugged in. And the first step is to go into your file explorer and click on the USB drive that's plugged in and you'll notice the file that we transferred over which is the Archer T2U Plus file which is a zipped folder so I'm going to right click and click extract all and then click extract so I can unzip that folder with the uh, files on it okay as soon as it's done extracting you'll notice that inside that USB drive that you have you have a new folder which is the unzipped folder so I'm going to double click that unzipped folder and then there's a folder inside that says T2U Plus double click that and then what we're going to do is we're going to double click the setup icon so i'm going to double click where, where it says setup with a little tp link logo next to it i'm going to double click that and then it's going to ask you whether you'd like to allow this app to make changes i'm going to tap yes and this opens up the install shield wizard and i'm going to click next on the first window that opens up and then click install to begin installation and it says that it is installing the driver and then it lets you know that the install shield wizard has finished installation i'm going to click finish and next if you actually go to the bottom right hand corner where there's a little globe which is your internet settings I'm going to click on that little globe and when you click on that you'll notice that because your wi-fi uh, 
uh, adapter has been set up, you'll notice that you have access to all your Wi-Fi networks and I can actually connect to any Wi-Fi network I want. And you want to select your home Wi-Fi network, enter your password, and as you would with any Wi-Fi enabled device, you can connect to that network. And that's pretty much all the setup you need to do to get this up and running. I uh, hope this video has been useful. If it was, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. And the link to this product is right below the video. So feel free to check that out as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.